pretty busy day in the weather department. I'm meteorologist Stephanie Stallworth. I have all the details coming up. Hi, Steph. Hey, how you guys doing? If you can't get to do it today because you have to work, uh, things look okay tomorrow, Saturday, Sunday. Even gets better Monday for those who work weekends. Uh, so we've got lots to look forward to in the five-day forecast. I said the basics for setting up your home office. I stuck with my list, stayed within my budget. Now I'm ready to get down to business. Thanks again. Bye-bye. Oh, I'd be sleeping. <laughs> it was over. Not worth that much to me, I guess. No, not at all. Stephanie's here. We're checking out the power of the forecast. Got Christmas in there. I know, and it looks like uh, it's not going to be that white. <laughs> we we <laughs> might get a little bit of snow mixing in, Millet, as we uh, head through the uh, end of that storm period. I'm meteorologist Stephanie Stallworth. I have all the details. Welcome back. I'm Coming Stephanie Stallworth. Going to talk about today's top weather stories. Looks like we've had some rain in the forecast later this week. Yeah, it looks like as we end the year, we'll end out on a rainy note. Uh, you're going to need the rain gear getting uh, to your New Year's Eve event. Number one is uh, down in South Florida. There are some thunderstorms happening around there. We're still seeing that for the last couple of days. We've you can seen it. Kyle Osborne talk to Cusack about his Hi, leadership. Hey, how you guys doing? If you can't get to do it today because you have to work, uh, things look okay tomorrow, Saturday, Sunday. Even gets better Monday for those who work weekends. Uh, so we've got lots to look forward to in the Stephanie's five days. Here. We're checking out the power of the forecast. Got Christmas in there. I know, and it looks like uh, it's not going to be that white. <laughs> we, <laughs> we might get a little bit of snow mixing in, Millet, as we uh, head through the uh, end of that. So if you're going to be traveling by car today down to the south along 95 corridor, uh, anywhere around there, you're going to be running into the weather. It's going to be heading our way, uh, coming that way. If you're traveling northbound up toward, uh, let's say, Philly or New York, even Boston, you're going to be in good shape, but you'll beat the rain out that way. So keep that in mind. In the meantime, best time to start travel at any rate is going to be this morning. It's a great day today. Looks like the whole rest of the weekend is going to be very, very good. nice. Fortunately, folks down to the south are so still dealing with some problems. Again, a tornado watch. Mm -hmm. For parts of Florida and Georgia, the same storm that had history uh, back in Texas. So, uh, not I'm done with those. Stephanie Stallworth, I'll have the weekend for you. Stephanie is here now. We've got a great weekend ahead. Yeah, really nice uh, temperatures and everything else. So let's check out numbers first. Talk about how we did. Uh, uh, tank with an actual shark. I'm thinking that's what they mean, but maybe it's just a little joke like this. Yeah, well, that's five days. Things are changing for us, including your time. Again, spring forward. Move your clocks ahead. One hour can never remind you quite enough. And again, you could buy one five. of those tickets. Oh, <laughs> I think you got something going there. At least I live in the right state. Anyway. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> I'm talking about some numbers. Got are we going to love there. those? We're going to love that. looks like uh, this weekend. We're going to deal with maybe some rain as we head through the uh, next couple of afternoons. Well, hopefully everyone had a chance to enjoy the weather today. Tomorrow, not going to be so promising. Brave enough to stand there and keep your hand on a car for oh, six days. I'd be sleeping. <laughs> it was over. Not worth that much to me, I guess. No, not at all. But some folks are into that. We're going to be into some nice temperatures, too, and as we get toward the end of the year. All right, let's get to the power of the forecast once again. Stephanie. All right, looks like, again, that rain's going to be moving in as we head through the afternoon. We'll continue to see it through the overnight and through a good portion of the early uh, half of the day on Christmas Day. May mix a little bit of snow at times off and on through there, but not a big snow event for us. Satellite with the radar composite, we're having some cloud cover there. There is some rain that is mainly down to our south and west. And you can see some areas even getting a little bit of a wintry mix where the temps are cold enough to support that. And back in the portions of southern uh, West Virginia, I'm looking at even cold enough to support a little bit of uh, snowfall potential for them. So we're going to keep that in mind. Rain moves in for today. We'll see uh, highs only in the lower 40s as we head toward tonight. Clouds and rain out there. Lows uh, down to 34 to 38 degrees. And getting into Christmas Day itself. Rain and maybe some snow mixing in at times. We'll see temps ranging through the middle 30s. Some areas getting into the lower 30s. So that's kind of what's going to determine if we're going to get any of that snowfall. Let's take a break from the rush hour report. We'll be back in just a few moments. I cannot believe these temperatures now in the 40s and the 50s. We're almost into January and I feel know. like spring. It does feel definitely like springtime. Temps normally about uh, 45 this time of year, uh, Linda. But we're going to be near 58, 60. Wow, we that's incredible. To the year. So lots of changes. Let's check things out on Almanac and uh, see what's happening uh, for us. Uh, over our weekend, it wasn't too bad. Kind of seasonal, though. Uh, five, uh, 45 was the high yesterday at Reagan National. Normally, again, about 44. And the record for the day is 75. We're not going to reach that. But as we head toward, uh, again, New Year's Eve, New Year's Day, we will be looking at potential for attempts getting at least into the mid, if not some areas seeing the upper 50s. That's something we'll be looking forward to. Uh, getting into the record lows, not looking like that. We'll probably stay uh, closer to the uh, 20s in some areas, really outlying suburbs, 30s as you head through the uh, overnight. Checking out satellite and radar composite, you can see us here in Washington. Uh, most of the clouds just in the northern suburbs and well to our north, down in the 
southeast, things are nice and clear. Do have high pressure in control there. And back out to the west, that's where all the stormy conditions are. In fact, folks in California, we're seeing some of the snow up in the mountainous regions. Also getting a disturbance moving in now to the north central states. Around the Great Lakes region, going to be looking for a cloudy day. And up in the northeast, the last of whatever precipitation was near us is a heading on out. So we're going to keep that in mind for the next day or so. It should be nice and dry, but things will be changing as we head toward New Year's Eve. So if you're going to be traveling by car today, down to the south along 95 corridor, uh, anywhere around there, you're going to be running into the weather. It's going to be heading our way, uh, coming that way. If you're traveling northbound up toward, uh, let's say, Philly or New York, even Boston, you're going to be in good shape, but you'll beat the rain out that way. So keep that in mind. In the meantime, best time to start travel at any rate is going to be this morning. You're going to see mainly cloud cover. Won't really see the rain moving until uh, sometime later this afternoon, uh, becoming a little heavier and steadier as we head toward the uh, evening, and particularly uh, into the overnight hours. But temps will be uh, right around the 40s or lower 40s as we head through the morning. Uh, not changing too much this afternoon, right about 42 and about 38 for the overnight low tonight. And then we'll see some rain possibly mixing with the change in the snow before it all ends as we head through Christmas Day. Not in terms of any big accumulations, but again, something to, to think about to try to get your white Christmas in. But overall, that's how things are going to be looking. If you're traveling, just use some care and caution for this holiday. We'll be right back after this break. Stay tuned. Welcome back. I'm Stephanie Stallworth. Top weather stories for the day. It's going to be pretty busy weather-wise. We have temps 20 degrees above average up in the northeast. Severe weather potential in the nation's midsection. North central states dealing with snow and some windy conditions heading all the way down into portions of Texas for today. Talking about the windy conditions, you can see these different lines here. These are isobars, lines of equal uh, pressure. And uh, where those get closer together, that's where the windy conditions are. So we are looking at wind uh, whipping down into Texas. Also windy conditions up here as you head up toward the Great Lakes City, region. Check forecast up in the northeastern region. By noontime today, you're looking at temps right around the lower 60s, getting to the mid and upper 60s in the afternoon. A very nice day in New York City, 63 at 5 for the afternoon commute. Around 8 o'clock tonight, you're looking at the middle 50s. Average high this time to your 47 in New York City. We're already at 47 right now, so again, you're going to be warming up uh, rather nicely as we head over the next couple of hours. So good afternoon for uh, maybe a, an afternoon stroll after you get off of work or maybe go sit out and have yourself with something outside, out fresco. It's a great day today. Looks like the whole rest of the weekend is going to be very, very Good. nice. Fortunately, folks still dealing with some problems. Again, a tornado watch mm. for parts of Florida and Georgia. The same storm that had history uh, back in Texas. Stephanie is here now. We've got a great weekend ahead. Yeah, really nice uh, temperatures and everything else. So let's check out numbers first. Talk about how we did Friday. Things improved that just like we thought that they would. Oh, man, hopefully everyone had a chance to enjoy the weather today. Tomorrow, not going to be so promising. So power weather coming right up. Stay tuned. You need to buy one of those tickets. <laughs> oh, I think you got something going there. At least I live in the right state. Anyway. There you go. Let's <laughs> talk about some numbers. Got Are we going to love there. those? We're going to love that. Looks like uh, this weekend. But we're going to deal with maybe some rain as we head through the uh, next couple of afternoons or evenings.